because the barrier to programming is getting lower and lower, its value is inherently decreasing as well. But technical literacy becomes even more important in that world. You need to know data. You need to know how information is flowing through the system because that's not going away anytime soon. That's really what's powering AI in a lot of these cases. And so the more you understand data, the more you understand how data moves, how it is structured, how it is useful in a programming or product environment, those skills are going to be transferable. The syntax, the actual writing of code to do instructions for the computer, that is what is getting replaced right now. And so your barrier to getting to a point where you can actually put some code into production yourself or build a side project, that is closing rapidly. And it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited to see what this unlocks for people and how they can keep building and pushing new new ideas and new products out there. Yeah. And the only thing I'll add to that too, is just as our design tools are getting smarter and smarter and smarter, even like thinking about Framer, for example, where I don't have to design a website in Figma and then move it over to Webflow or somewhere else to actually deploy it to the web. But it's like one in the same tool and one in the same workflow. And so you can also kind of start to imagine a world where designers are able to contribute more to the production code base just as our tools get smarter. And I think that is also increasing the value of this technical literacy. I'm glad you brought that up because... When I kind of look like five years from now, we're going to have much more software in the world. And I think that technical literacy for designers is going to be way more valuable than it is today. And so like the things that you're talking about, to me, this is like one of the best ways that designers can prepare for these impending changes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It feels scary. It feels like we're on this <laughs> yeah. process here. And I, I do want to say, I think designers are really well suited to benefit from, from this new world because uh, somebody had a tweet the other day and it was just a, like a meme joke and it was like, uh, people, biz, like stakeholders can't describe their requirements now. So how are they going to tell it to an AI? I'm not worried about my job kind of thing. And I think that's very true, at least in my experience, right? What designers are uniquely equipped to do is understand the requirements from the business perspective, from the user perspective, and package that up into something that's possible. And even engineers struggle with that, right? That yes, that if you tell them what to build, they can go and do it. But that, that, that step in between of like, this is the problem and what does the solution look like? That is a designer skill set. And so I think designers are really uniquely positioned because we have all this practice translating real needs and problems into solutions, we're almost in the best possible shape to go and benefit from this AI revolution because we understand how to build like something, a solution for somebody. And that's the skill that I think is going to be most valuable. Yeah. And even like thinking about it outside of the confines of like a traditional product team, I think we're going to see so many more like solopreneur, small businesses pop up just because, again, like the cost of software is just decreasing rapidly. And so it's like, who are the people that are best equipped to actually create these new products and companies that are successful and a lot of fun to run? It's like, I think design led companies are, are going to increase pretty significantly in the coming years because you don't actually have to be as dependent on having this like full team of engineers around you. And like, we can start to identify problems and create solutions like really, really quickly for them. And so I'm kind of excited to see how the, the talent market for design evolves over time. Are more of us actually going to be working freelance because we're more efficient? Maybe less companies require multiple designers, maybe a third or a half of a designer can be enough just because we're able to work so quickly in these tools. And so like, are we working for multiple different companies or maybe we're even just like working for ourselves and like building different products? It starts to get really exciting to think about. And I'm glad for like the injection of optimism because I am in the same boat too, or it's a little bit scary and like things are really going to change and, and kind of be shaken up a little bit. But I do think design is, is well equipped to, to enter this new world for sure.